Okay, here's a quick guide to making a print layout in QGIS and creating a PDF with that. I'm starting with a map from the regional map guide that I also made a video for. So I'm not going to talk about how I got to this point. That's in another video. So once you've got your map styled and you're reasonably happy with it, as I am in this case, I'm going to uh, create what is called a print layout. That's under project, new print layout. And you can give this a name if you want to. And this opens a separate window, so you can switch between the two. Um, you can go back to your map and back to the print layout. They're separate things. The first thing you usually want to do is add a new map to the print layout, and that's this button on the left side. You click that to select that tool, and then draw a rectangular area where your map will go. And we saw that that took a couple of seconds. Sometimes that happens. If I got to this point and I realized, oh, I want to um, zoom out a little bit, say to here, and I want to make the print layout um, match that, I can go back to the print layout, make sure the map is selected, go to item properties, and scroll down to extents, and set to map canvas extent. So that uses um, whatever the map canvas extent is, the extent being the rectangular area you're looking at. Um, this is the map canvas. This is the uh, print layout. Okay, so now that I have a map on here, I'm going to go ahead and um, add things like a title and a legend. And these all of the things that you'll do with the map layout exist over here on the left. Um, so there's a text box, and I'll draw it and I'll say You might want a better title than this. It depends on the point of the map. That's not really the point of this video, just showing you how to do that. Um, you can change the font here. You can use whatever fonts you have on your system. And you might want a legend. So the legend is going to be down here. OK, so the legend labels are going to be whatever your layer labels are back on the map itself. And sometimes they'll include things like the countries that you don't necessarily want to show. So the quickest way to, um, to change this is to go in to the legend item properties, go down to legend items, and turn off auto update. Auto update, um, what it does is it keeps the legend <clears throat> updated with whatever you do to the map. So if we went back to the map and added a layer, the legend would update itself. So I'm going to turn that off so that we can fully control it. And I will um, remove 
the countries because we don't need that. And I'll change the names of each of the layers to make them more readable. Um, while layer names will usually have underscores in them, you almost never want that to be the case in in your um, in your print layout. So I'm just going to make these nice and descriptive. You can also play around with how the legend is rendered in general. Um, so I can get rid of the background entirely if it's still readable. That might be fine in this case. Um, and you can get rid of the fact that it says legend there. Um, I believe that's title. Yeah. So if you get if you type something in there and then get rid of it, um, then it just no longer has a title, and that's that's probably sufficient. Um, sorry, back to the item properties. There are other things such as the frame. So if you wanted a border around, oh, that's I'm controlling the border around the map. That's not what I want right now. I was trying to do that for the legend. In case you wanted a frame around the legend, you can do that. Um, in this case, that doesn't feel necessary to me, so I'm going to leave it. Um, you will want to make sure that you credit whatever data sources you're using. Uh, so I'm going to draw a text area here. And I'll say data via natural earth data. Um, if we wanted to, we could add a link to it. In this case, I'm fine with it at least saying that. So you might want to include a north arrow, especially in this case, we're using a different projection. So as you can see, South America is up here. Uh, so north is more up and to the left. So, um, so we're going to add a north arrow by going into um, add a new picture. We'll draw an arrow, a uh, rectangle for that picture. And in the item properties, we'll look under search directories. So this will have built in north arrows for us. Um, I guess I'm OK with one of these simpler, just an arrow. And you see that it's not currently pointing north. It's just pointing up. And if you come down to image rotation, and tell it to use true north. Um, oh, I have to tell it which map to use. So it has to use map one, which is the only map if you look in the items here. Uh, so, so that might be helpful in a situation where north is not up. You might want to include this so that it's easier to figure out what's going on with your map. And I'll try not to make it too prominent, but findable. Um, and let's try to compose these a little bit more. Um, so as we saw with the image, when you're adding an image, you can actually add any image you want. So you could come in here and find an image that's on your computer somewhere. That's, that's totally doable. Um, and you can do things like add a scale bar. That might be helpful here. It's it's maybe not obvious how what the distance is here. Mm, so I'll draw a scale bar in the item properties, as with other items that you add to a print layout. You can change things here. So you can change um, maybe your um, people who are viewing this are more familiar with miles, for example. Um, 
and you can decide how many segments are on the scale bar. So I might only want a few to the right and none to the left, so just uh, kind of minimal scale bar. And you can also play around with the styling a bit. Uh, you can make it uh, taller or narrower. You can... oops. You could get rid of the line color, for example, if you did not want a line color. Um, Yeah, and you can you can edit the fonts and everything uh, that you might want to edit with the scale bar. Okay, so that looks fine to me. Um, not the best work I've done, but it's uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use the print layout uh, to make something that you can turn into a PDF or an image. Uh, now that we've got this far, we can come up here and there are some buttons for exporting as a PDF, an SVG, or an image. And you really just click one of these and decide where to save it. And that will save your, uh, your map. So if I want to find the layout again, once I save it to my project, I can come down to Project Layouts regional map. That was what I called it before. And you'll see that my map gets updated with, that, with whatever styles I have on it at the time. Um, and I can close this and I can make more print layouts. So you can have multiple print layouts for one map. Yep. Hope, hopefully that helps with the uh, print layouts for QGIS.